I swear, man, if it was up to the media, every player would be a draft target for the Spurs. I want some nasty. Are we having fun yet? All right, so this should be a quick video, okay? We're just talking about Lori marketing and apparently from Bavado, Bavado official, uh, he is favorited uh, to go to San Antonio. So San Antonio are favorites to land Lori marketing. Um, so I'll give you my thoughts on this, but before I do, big shout out to uh, BetUS for sponsoring this video. If you guys are interested at all when it pertains to picks and predictions and figuring out what you know picks that you personally would want to make, uh, you can head on over to BetUS TV or you can head over to their other YouTube channel that's NBA Picks and Predictions and get your stuff in, man. There, there's quite a few videos, and if you have no intentions at all of betting, uh, don't worry about it. They at least have some really good content, and you can at least watch their live streams. It's some pretty good stuff. So, but link in my description if you do want to sign up to Bet US, uh, you'll get 125% bonus on your first three deposits. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So, yes. So as you can see here, San Antonio Spurs are favorites to land Lori Marketing followed by Oklahoma City Thunder, Detroit Pistons, Orlando Magic, Golden State Warriors, Houston Rockets. Now, let me go ahead and say this right now. We are going to be one of the favorites for um, marketing regardless, right? Like, th that, that's just going to happen. We're, we're going to be one of the favorites for every draft uh, potential uh, coming to the Spurs. Like, every every single – why did I say draft potential? Every single free, free agent or every single – uh, draft target we're, we're going to be on that list um as far as the can they land san antonio for obvious reasons right we don't have to go into that but i came across this so i did want to watch this and react to this with you guys so it says lori marketing to spurs idea this is from bleacher report i have not pre-watched so let's see what this uh fine young gentleman have to say about the spurs getting lori marketing anyways this pick is with the spurs what the jazz are giving lowry mock trade it seems marketing to the san antonio spurs to pair him with the with wemby victor Wembenyama. utah jazz gets back keldon johnson to match salaries a young player that can come in be i mean he's on what is he's in what his third or fourth season so actually has some it's experience right. in the nba it's can bring some professionalism to utah he's also very used to losing so he'll be fine with it <laughs> that's funny and then Utah gets. Wait, wait, wait. Any more descriptions of Keldon? So he'll be fine with it. <laughs> Experience in the NBA can bring some professionalism to Utah. He's also very used to losing, so he'll be fine with it. <laughs> I wonder how do other. I, I, we talked about this in another video. How do people view Keldon Johnson? I really want to get a good gauge. We literally went over an article in which they said that he he brought a defensive impact, where it's like what defensive impact what are we talking about like i really want to know what people think of him but this uh this guy here says that he's a uh he brings professionalism so i, I guess that's something that you can you can write on there he is a professional <laughs> and then utah gets three first round picks in fact maybe okay, we can which, get which which first round picks get even one more but they get the 2024 round uh number four okay and 2024 number eight Okay. And Utah gets to pick three of the top 10 in this draft. It's just more bites at the apple to see what champ, what possibility we can get to get that all-star caliber player. You know, the more shots you take, the more likelihood you're going to hit on one of them. Right? What and so thinking? Utah gets two of those, and then they get the 2025 pick from Atlanta. And we know that Atlanta, oh. I mean, who knows? Atlanta might fall apart. And the the reason you get that 2025 pick and it's valuable is because the 2025 draft is awesome. And the more picks you have in the 2025 draft, the better. Doesn't even necessarily mean that Utah is going to use them all. For example, you this is just an example of something. So 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 is that it? Is like Keldon Johnson three first. Okay, I have a thought on that. Let's see. Thing that happened with the Dallas Mavericks, who got remember. I mean, I'm just curious in, what his mock is. Into their draft when they got um Luka Doncic. They were at number three before the lottery balls fell. They got jumped twice, fell to five, but because they had picks, they were able to trade back up to number three and take who? Luka Doncic. So if Utah goes into 2025 and they have their own pick, they have Cavaliers pick, they have the Minnesota pick, and they have the Atlanta pick, 
you can package those picks to move up and get players you like, especially in a draft next year. That is awesome. Absolutely awesome. And you're getting your your potential player that can be an absolute star for you. That's what we're doing here. Utah is looking for that superstar. And also, uh, yeah, 2025 is phenomenal. But let's see, Spurs upcoming draft picks. Where, where are all those second round picks? Let's see where all those second round picks are, where they lay. Um, is that 2025? If so, the Spurs are geniuses. It's 2026. Uh, but we have three. We have three second round picks in 2025. So we can also package those and move up in that draft as well, possibly, um, hopefully. And then we have a bunch in 2026 where there's no way in the world the San Antonio Spurs are holding on to all of these second round picks five second round picks is insane uh that that is that is not going to um convey we're, we're gonna get rid of those all right so he basically said we get rid of our fourth eighth and um our not our 2025 but atlanta's 2025 so i guess the question first is is lori marketing worth it yes he i i don't think anybody would are you guys gonna disagree with that i don't know i'll look at the comments Yes, I think that he is worth that. He is definitely worth that as a player, if not even even more. Um, but with that being said, I personally would not do it because while Lori Markkinen does seem very appealing, right? He will be exactly what we needed out of Zach Collins, what we expected Zach Collins to be. More than likely, you would start uh, him with Wimby. Uh, he will space the floor for Wimby, genuinely space the floor. I mean, shooting nearly 40% uh, from three. Uh, he puts up quite a few of them. Uh, he's, a, he's a really, he's a really great player. I, I love his grittiness. I, I just love how he how he approached the game. Very smart player as well, and he most definitely will help or would help the San Antonio Spurs. But the only thing that I'm a little worried about is they are in need, and I mean in need of a wing defender. They are in need of a point guard. And I'm not saying you can't get those in other avenues, but I was hoping to at least get one of those things in the 2024. And as far as the 2025, uh, that's another one where, yeah, it's a great draft. I I think the Atlanta Hawks one is the one I would want to hold on to. Uh, we already know that the Spurs are going to at least attempt and try to win. I don't think that they'll be a terrible team, especially, you know, how things went near the end of the season where they really started to find their own identity and they got better and better and better and better. I expect them next season to be a much better team. Not may, maybe not necessarily a top eight team in the West. I don't know if they'll be that, but I do expect them to be in the play in competing to try to get in the playoffs and possibly making uh, the playoffs in, in that competition. So I, I don't know how valuable our own point, our, our, our own pick is going to be, um, and then when you look at the Atlanta Hawks one, that's the one that's really pretty. And then you look at the Chicago one is protected one through 10. So that's not going to be great. I mean, we also have, uh, this one from the Hornets protected one through 14, and that's not even going to convey. I mean, let's be real. Uh, so that, that'll eventually turn into a second round pick. So, or is it multiple second round picks? I can't, I can't remember, but that, it's not going to be a first round pick. There's no way. So as it stands right now, I just wouldn't do it. I feel like marketing is a cherry on top to a team that we haven't even baked the the, the batter for, right? Like it, he, he would be great if we're already established. He just seems like a, a, he seems like a position that yes, we'll need eventually, but right now, we, we have some real concerns here. And I think that's defensive wing. I think that's a backup uh, defender to Wimby, which maybe you could try to make the argument that you want Laurie Markkinen coming off the bench. I don't really care for that. Um, and then also we need a, did I already say point guard? We need a point guard. Uh, so th these are very important things that the Spurs have to get. And I feel like you can definitely get one of those things with that fourth pick. Definitely. I think Ron Holland will fix that defensive wing issue. You guys know I'm huge on Buzelis. He's also a really good wing uh, that you can grab. Uh, he's a good help defender. He, he's not as good as a defender at Holland by any means. Not even, I don't even think even close. Uh, but, you know, he's a good help defender nonetheless, and he knows how to get to his spots. Um, he can score. So I, I say all that to say this. I wouldn't do it. I, I personally wouldn't do it. 
Um, but I know that a lot of fans have talked about Lori marketing and I'm not upset or angry with the idea of going after marketing if the Spurs wanted to do that. And I'm not upset with any fans like wanting that as well. This is just kind of a, I guess everything's a personal opinion on this channel, right? But this is my personal opinion. I don't think it's worth it. I think we have some very pressing matters that we need to attend to before um, we even think about you know doing doing this right now uh, i think we're pretty solid at the power forward um position uh slash obviously starting center position we we, we got some other things we got to address and, and then this would be more like icing on the cake but you got you got to bake the you got to bake the batter man you got to bake the batter um and all these future first round picks uh yeah you, you don't want to give you don't want to get rid of these two if you also have to get rid of the atlanta and then our own isn't pro probably won't be as great as we'd hope. It's like, what's the point? No, no, no. We need as many chances as we can get of getting really good players in this next draft. So I would try to hold on to the Atlanta one the best I, I possibly possibly can. Um, and the only reason why I will be content if it's for a point guard is because I think that's an immediate need if you want to get rid of the Atlanta for, for a really great point guard. I, I can deal with that. But yeah, no, no. Anyways, you guys let me know what you thought. Sorry, rambled a little bit. Um, but anyways, big shout out to BetUS for sponsoring this video. I will get with you guys later, man. BetUS, America's favorite sportsbook and casino. Live betting and racebook. We're celebrating 30 years with a historic offer. A 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits. Plus 10% gambler's insurance. Get started today. BetUS, where the game begins.